Holy <laughs> crap. Who is <laughs> Lady Nassaria? We believe Damon's whore. <laughs> <laughs> Damon's whore. I mean... <laughs> Welcome back to the Smokescreen Podcast, episode 65, and we're back uh, with James again to go back to Westeros. Yeah, can't wait. Episode two of House of the Dragon, um, actually named The Rogue Prince. Oh, really? One, yeah, one of your favorite characters. I'll be damned. Already. Give me a, uh, a little uh, rundown of what happened. Before we jump in, let me thank today's sponsor, Ewan Racing. It is, of course, Christmas time just around the corner, about a week away, so it's a good time to grab that last-minute gift and save a lot of money. So grab that gaming chair for that gamer, friend, or family member of yours, or, again, as just an office chair. But really quickly, let me talk about a few of the features of these gaming chairs that give them, in my opinion, the best value for the money. I've used E1 Racing chairs for many, many years now, and by far they are the most beautiful chairs, and they're actually made from real leather, not any of that fake leather, pleather stuff, so you do have to take care of these. E1 Racing chairs will hold up to 550 pounds. It is a steel frame, but you're not going to sit on any steel bars or particle board through the memory foam. You're going to actually be in a comfortable chair. They have the adjustable lumbar pillow as well as the neck pillow. And again, they are adjustable. Simply slide them up and down as you please. One of the great features of these chairs are the 4D adjustable armrest. And these adjust four different ways. And of course, these chairs obviously are height adjustable. And these chairs are actually fully reclinable. You can lean them all the way back and actually take a nap in these chairs if you want to. And that may or may not have happened a few times in this very studio. I also want to mention really quickly, these are not just necessarily gaming chairs. These are office chairs as well. They do have all the colorful chairs if you like those styles. But they also have many full black options as well for any office use. So again, use the link in the description below or in the pinned comment as well. And grab yourself or a family member for Christmas that Ewin racing chair they've been wanting. Or a few racing chairs or an office chair or whatever it may be. And of course, don't forget to use the code SMOKESCREEN during the checkout process and you will receive a whopping 30% off of your entire order. So thanks again to Ewan Racing for sponsoring today's podcast. Yeah, so Last for time. the recap from episode yeah. one, Heirs of the Dragon. So we were introduced to it's Viserys. Names I'm really struggling with. Yeah, yeah. Viserys is the king. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was voted, you saw the council of 101 AC. So that was the council where Jaehaerys was still king, the, the old king, the good king. Uh, that John, people thought John were going to, I said that last week, people thought John were going to be named after him, but he yes. was named Aegon. Um, anyway, so he had the council. They voted Viserys instead of Rhaenys, the queen who never was, which is his cousin, right. and married to Corlys Velaryon. He is also master of ships at this point on the council. So you saw him, and you saw Raina and Bela, his kids, and the crowd at this tourney, but you haven't seen them yet. They'll be in the story, too. Uh -huh. Obviously, you met Damon, the yes. king's brother, Viserys. The main characters will be Allison on the the green side. Or will be the green side. She will, you know, obviously Otto Hightower's daughter. She's the one who went to visit the king, you know, and wear one of your mother's dresses. <laughs> Dude, that stuck with me. Uh, uh, yeah, he's such a bastard. You can tell already. Um, no spoiler alert there. I mean, clearly. But then, obviously, Renera is kind of the main main character. I uh, can tell. is kind of the. Yeah, right now she's been named. You know, she was. Officially named heir last episode because uh, he was kind of mad at Damon for maybe maybe he we're not really sure that's still kind of uh, you know not clear did he was he making fun of Balon the king's son who died as well with his yeah. wife or was he just saying heir for a day late legitimately I know that's I, what I thought he yes. jumped the gun and was like exactly it's real uh too emotional yeah. to make a decision Ex that big exactly so that's really the big question was he actually because in the books right you have couple different POVs. You have Mushroom, who's not in, in the show at all whatsoever, and he's he's got like all the tea, right, as they call it. It's, everything's bad. Everything's uh, um, a scandal, you know, whatever, in his version of events. But the Maester's version of events in the books, it's straightforward and normal. Okay. So they're mixing a little bit of both. So in the books, Mushroom says that Damon did do that in a condescending, mean way. To make fun of his dead son. Okay. But you didn't really get that sense to me. I didn't in the show. I, I agree. So 
I think that uh, I think he was just you know saying he he did say that God's giveth as the God's taketh away, but he's just air for a day and held a toast, and that was his way of going to deal with things, like he said. Yes, in my opinion, but that's certainly debatable because Damon's a controversial figure, you know, of course, because he yes, does some, he uh, some bad shit. So that's the main ones, you know, Otto Hightower. I mentioned I mentioned him. So and the the gold cloaks. I really enjoyed that scene. I yeah, mean, <laughs> the collecting of body parts. That was wild. Yeah. So this this thing grabs you in a similar way. It it does. Uh, I mean, and I didn't think it, you know, it's not to the effect of Game of Thrones, I, I don't guess, but still, just knowing, I, th- I think it wouldn't have the same effect if you didn't see Game of Thrones. Uh, I mean, maybe. I, I, I don't I, I'm, know. It might not. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, because there's people who I've seen react on YouTube who have never seen Game of Thrones react to this. So I don't know how that would work the hmm. other way. I, don't I know. think this would make me want to see at least the episode two uh, had I never even seen yeah, yeah, anything. for sure. It, that first episode was really good. Yeah. And uh, you remember I told you, I was like, I'm not, I'm not ready to dang uh, make this a regular thing or whatever. And then I thought about it all week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Same thing with the Game of Thrones. Yeah. So good. Yeah. But that's the, that's the crazy thing, man. And, you know, I, and I do like the tie-ins. You know, they tied it in. We'll, we'll talk about that more. We'll see more of that, obviously, with the whole, you know, Aegon the Conqueror the first had this dream of this threat from the north, right? Um, and now that's been passed down, right, to every king. So through Aenys and all the way through, you know, Magor, I guess, and now through Viserys. Yeah. And now he told Rhaenyra, since he named her heir, he did not tell Damon. And he was the automatic heir being the younger brother yes. before he had a son anyway. So that may come into play. I so don't think so. A lot of, a lot of family drama <laughs> is coming. A lot. <laughs> but uh, that's the recap. Um, and again, real quick for everybody listening and watching, uh, this week I'm doing it different, so I don't have to use the so much blur and music and kind of hiding the the audio because they I had to render the last video five times. That's just nice. five times because they catch every little <clears throat> thing thing that goes over you know five or six seconds or whatever. Even with that music playing, and I put rain sounds behind it. Do they <laughs> do they let you know where you need to go, yeah, or do yeah, they just it, say? But it'll be it different. Doesn't pass. It no. It'll let you know where, but then you go and look in those spots and fix them and render it. There'll be five more spots that weren't it, there before. Nope. Oh no! Nope. Wow. So yeah, that takes too, that's too fucking <clears throat> much trouble. This it was the easier way to record, but no, I'll just I'll just do like some other channels, and I'll have on the box will be on the screen, and every five seconds you'll hear everything and see everything, and it'll cut off and it'll be muted. You'll still hear us, obviously, and then we we'll, we can pause it whenever as usual. And I got it, I got it right here this time. So ready? I'm ready. You sure? Yes, sir. All right, uh, House of the Dragon season one episode two. The Rogue Prince. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. <clears throat> Here's the new intro. Yes. It's not as cool, but it, it is cool, but not. It's more about bloodlines. Same music. I was getting ready to say, I'm so glad they kept the music. Yeah, they would have been dumb not to. So each of those represent, obviously. Okay. By the symbol. It's hard to see him, though. <laughs> really cool. And that'll change as the family grows. Because it will grow, by the way. Speaking mm-hmm. of names. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here we go. Crab feeder. Yeah. Oh, that's imagine, terrible. Imagine going out like that. No. Getting staked to the beach. No, dude. <laughs> you got to be <laughs> twisted. <laughs> Lord Commander of the King. I have acted, Corlys. I've said. 
would be a show of force. At least the princess has a plan. <laughs> So this has been six months? Wow, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Thrilling. Yeah, it would be poacher. <laughs> we thank you for your loyal service to the crown. Simon Malister. They got all these little formal things in, with the balls and the... Winnowed of the melee at Cider Hall. He was the last mount of the three. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool they're getting a lot more book houses in this show. Mm. Poor Crispin. You saw combat in the Stormlands. Well, for a year as a foot soldier against the Dornish incursion. Sir Arland on down. Time you, see, she's right. She's, she's an idealist, and she's right. right. But the politics. Mm. The Valyrian capital. <laughs> she's been giving her marching orders. He's talented. Mm. He's only rode a dragon one time, and he never rode him again. I hate that. So he's the only like non-dragon. Well, he is technically a dragon runner. But these days he looks kind of oafish. I really like him. Yeah, no. <laughs> to discuss personal matters. It will take time. There are times when I would rather face the Black Dread himself than mine own daughter of fifty. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. <laughs> no shit. I saw a t-shirt the other day. It says you don't scare me out of daughters. I just There's your answer. Okay. It's gonna get weird. Yes, it is. See, I'd be a candle maker. I'm telling you. You ain't You're kidding, man. You're richest man in Westeros. <laughs> I'd be the matchmaker. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be yes. a combo. Well, they need them. I mean, not like her dad, like a, a literal match. Right. <laughs> right. That's this kind of how that new Exorcist movie starts. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> One girl wanting to talk to her mom. Oh. They like they go down this. Uh, believe it or not, I've tried watching it. I can't. <laughs> I, I've, three times I've gone into it. I have to turn it off. <laughs> They find good actors and actresses that mm. do this stuff, man. Yeah, fairly unknown. And now a foreign power has established a colony in our most critical shipping link. I mean, oh, great point. It, it, my raid, I'll call it. It. <laughs> At the moment, the crown is perceived as being vulnerable. Hmm. You know, they all died at like 30 from smoke inhalation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know it. Black lung. <laughs> exactly. I mean, she brings up a good point. Like, be the easiest move. Oh, yeah. To flex and. Easy. All right, now. Yeah, you saw his pinky, right? Yeah, so he had a sore on his back last week. Six months later, he's got a dead finger. He proposed a marriage. 
Your grace? The late. That is what I'm doing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like about him, though. Yes. His retorts are. The lady Lena is your. And to be compelled. I bet it does. Replace her. You are the king, but I do not envy you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no pressure. No, no pressure at all. Jeez Louise, man. What the hell, man? What was it like? They said young. They meant young. You were Valerian's last rider. It's a beautiful place, though, ain't it? It is. With Valerian died the last he read him once, yeah. That's what I was starting to say earlier. Wrote him once over King's Landing, and, and he but died. For the dragon pit. Our world. Do you know where she left? I'm sorry? <laughs> feels so Best I know. have to bed you until I turn 14. <laughs> oh my Lord. god. Jeez. <laughs> that, that's that's too much. Yeah, at least they're showing he recognizes how ridiculous this is. Exactly. Uh oh. It bothers you, does it not? My father is a king. It is his duty to take a new wife. And I she's been through this. this. Yes. My father has passed, but men of the realm will expect him to be. When I'm queen, I will create a new one again. That line sounds familiar. Uh-huh. It does, don't it? You remind your father's men of that as you carry their cups. <laughs> 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 that was a good comeback. Men will sooner put the realm to the torch than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. No doubt. Yep. I is no fool. Hmm. She needed to hear that. She did. And this is uh very complicated mm -hmm. what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Almost said something a while ago. What's that? If they meant to keep showing her hand where it looked like she bites her fingernails, yeah. and then right there it looked like she might pick at them or something. Yeah, she's picking them. She's nervous. Anxiety up. What? I also That's the kind of girl you marry right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Cares about your hobbies. <laughs> it lets you have hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, so you, you wonder like let me let me just for a second. Mm -hmm. You wonder now, okay, so Allison was put in this position, right? Yes. And but now is she enjoying it? Right. Is she like legitimately enjoy hanging out with him at this point? It's been six months. You know, it's possible. And then she's in a tough spot right now, obviously, because she can't tell Renera that's very awkward. No, no. And that was the best move they made, by the way, because again, from the books, they they're not really close. Oh, okay. They're best buds here. So that's what makes it actually good is that I don't know, that tension. <clears throat> come <laughs> come <laughs> <You get this. laughs> 
Your Grace, I call. Why? I think it best you hear it directly. Oh shit! Arino rot daimon siki asida seglize. It is the pleasure of Daemon Targaryen, the Prince of Dragonstone. To announce that he is to take a second wife in the tradition of old Valyria. And is to have a dragon's egg placed in the babe's cradle. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Who is <laughs> Lady Massaria? We believe Damon's whore. <laughs> Damon's hole. I mean, this is my problem. I love how it. The realm is watching. He cares about optics a lot. He does. He also cares about his kids being king, like everybody. But mm -hmm. he's he he also. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm running my mouth, but you know he's a he's a. a he cares about those shipping lanes more than anything because that's his. He's gotten rich. Like, he's the richest house in the realm right oh, now. Oh, okay. Like, richer than Lannisters at this time. Oh, damn. And, you know, he's still. He's still, like I was saying before, he's still more mad than Rainey's is about, about her, her not getting Yeah, because he would have been king regent and their mm -hmm. kids would have been automatically. And he, that's why he's obviously putting Bela up there. Talk about provoking. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Dangerous. Damon is about Yeah. You, Let me you already got a dead finger. <laughs> yeah, your you finger's about bad to fall. This is <laughs> you might have leprosy or something. So there she said, if you wish it. So, like, she's still. Yeah, but I wonder uh -huh. if she's just playing that to him, but she really is starting to like him and stuff. I don't know. Maybe her fingernails are. Yeah. You know, she's tore up about it. She don't know what she thinks. She's so young, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. How things will change. There's Dragonstone. It's probably the worst idea ever to send Otto Hightower. That looks badass, though, don't it? It really does. Thought they had added all the... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Welcome to Dragonstone, Otto. <laughs> And leave Dragonstone by order of his grace. Oh. It's a Crispin, wasn't it? <laughs> Crispin Cole, my friend. <laughs> Crispin. Ah, yes, apologies. Perhaps my prince recalls when I knocked him off his horse. <laughs> Very good. This is a truly pathetic show. See, Damon can appreciate it. Yes. Mm. You said the wrong thing.
Oh my god. Uh, did you forget who they, he is? I mean, no joke, man. He sensed him being a little pissed off. Keep the egg. One of you. Seed the fucking steel. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> yeah, we are. God, dude. Wow. She's grown. I think she's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she can just. She got balls. You are not shitting. He's going to give her the win and not Otto. <laughs> he knows what the fuck he's doing. Mm -hmm. Power move right there, though. Very powerful. I mean, does the dad see this? No, that's the thing. You know, I mean, you have to change how he feels exactly. about a lot of things. If, if he just opened his eyes a little bit. There's the room that the table was in. It sure as it, hell is. The table's not in that room in this show, but it's in another room. But that's where Stannis was, you know. And then Danny, of course. Some of these characters, you like, like them, but then... They're going to end up on the wrong side of things. You're right. They're, 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 they have to. That's what's, Some of them have to. That's what's conflicting about this show. And there's arguments online about who's better and who's, you know, all this kind of stuff with the with the coming conflict. And she has Stock. Blood. What's to mislike? She is 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never asked to remarry. Who is this guy he's talking to? Lionel Strong. He's the master of law. The calculated reach. Fair play for and his son, Harwin, Harwin, will take a big role. I thought he's some distant relatives of Sam. The princess has returned from Dragonstone. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> This was, yeah, this was a boss move by her. Papa, don't preach. <laughs> and you acted without the crown's leave. You smell like a dragon. <laughs> you stink of dragon. <laughs> she didn't have to go. Mm -mm. Pleases me to hear you say this. To know that I'm not alone in my grief. It's 
to the realm. Yeah, but I'm glad they had this talk. But it's I don't think she sees the curveball coming. I don't think she does either, and I'm so nervous for her. Mm. Yeah, this is all trouble, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. He's the king, man. Let him pick. To take a new wife. Mm -mm. Mm. Look at Otto. Mm. Look at Otto. The Lady Alison Hightower. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. This is an absurdity. My house. And I am your king. Uh, Look at her picking her hands. Bless mm -hmm. it. Cause she she never oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Should have warned her. Yeah, she fully expected Beta, Bela or whatever, but never saw that coming. Mm -mm. How's Valarian's origin? Hey, buddy. More ancient even than House Targaryen. Hmm? Oh shit. <laughs> oh. And where you had a king. Hell. We're both men who have had to cut our own way through the world. Did you call me to drift mark to remind me of my love? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit It must be made It's not wrong He is not Dude. Oh. Man. So Yeah, I could binge this. I know. It's <laughs> Yeah, so there's just so much going on. And it's just one little side story in the whole Game of Thrones universe. Ain't that so wild. you can imagine all these other shows coming too. Yeah. Got um I hate we didn't watch this together. Like I hate that you know everything that's happening, getting ready to happen, that I'm so curious about. Yeah, yeah. But that was the way it was with God. It's kind of like me though. I uh, watching this again too. I mean, I'm almost reacting to it in the same way because I've I've only watched it the one time when I did the the live stream and stuff and videos. But well, no, I just so many little details. Man, I just there's so many things like, and there's so many little side stories going on with like I'm so curious about this you know disease he's stricken with yeah. or is he has he been poisoned or you know what, what but I don't want you to tell me right, I want right, to find out right and uh they did change that too just to it, not a spoiler or anything but in the book um it is something different that happens okay but so they did change that to I think to make it last longer, if that that'll make sense later. Oh, but okay. Yeah, but they did change that too. But yeah, he's. Uh, I think that adds a sense of urgency. It does to things as opposed to some surprise thing. And <clears throat> he's a good guy. He you really just, is. Uh, but you have to agree with. I mean, I don't like his indecisiveness, mm -hmm. and um, he's too. 
I do agree. Uh, Corliss is that his name? Yeah, I do agree with Corliss about you can't have the crown looking weak or indecisive or anything. That's you right. Have to make statements every now and again. That's right. You can't have people just creeping up on Westeros and taking over shipping lanes no. and stuff. I mean, that feeds people. Not that they don't produce their own stuff. But they get a lot of goods from Essos. Right. A lot of trading. And and then um, the princess is right about we have dragons. Yeah. It's like, okay, if you're worried about war and bloodshed and all this, just we, because that is one benefit of seeing Game of Thrones. Right. We know what one freaking dragon that's can right. do. And that's the thing. That's the thing about this time period. That's why there was no war. It was, it was just peaceful for like a hundred and something years because – Who's going to fuck with Targaryens? Right. And she said it earlier, you know, in the first episode, without our dragons, we're just like everybody else. They know that. And he knows that. But he's he's almost, you heard him say it's an illusion, and it kind of is. But uh, it, without their dragons, they're, they're nobody. And But yet they reign for another 170 years, you know, just because of the rules until Robert changes that and yeah. breaks the rules. We did refer to the dragons when we used to talk about it as a nuclear option. Yeah. So I do see them doing. being, you know, you know, not not really willing to just use them all the time. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, but if you have a, you know, and that's what that's the allegory George R. R. Martin's using, right? Is nuclear weapons, you know, that mm -hmm. you're riding around these these bombs. But at the same time, it's like. You're talking about some islands with some pirates. Yeah, really. That's what you, I was thinking. Just, just fly a, a flyover. A f that, there you Burn go. Burn one ship. One ship. That would all it takes. Yeah, it would change a lot of minds of the other guys. But yeah, I mean that's the that's what's great about this is again the book being written by a maester is fictional history, right? You, you don't get all the detail about the characters. You you get more with Damon because there's a separate book called The Rogue Prince, right? So you get more of his character, but. Viserys, you don't really get any details about those things, and all these other characters too, for that matter. You know, you're you're getting them the first time here, so e even if you've read the book, it doesn't matter. You don't know all the details of who did what. It's all rumors, it's all hearsay. Okay. So this is giving you like, like I said, it's kind of giving you uh, the way they decide to do it is in the book. You got mushrooms saying that all this scandalous stuff happened for this particular event. And then the major saying, this was just a, how it went, whatever. And it's somewhere in between is the truth. You know what I mean? And you're getting all those details, but he like Patty Constantine. I mean, he, he's killing by Sarah's. He's, he's as far as, I mean, a good way killing like the character. Cause he is bumbly, like you said, and indecisive, yeah. but at the same time, he's, he's got a wit and he's, he, he does. He knows that he's, he's trying to make everybody happy. You feel that coming, and that's a big theme with him. He's trying to keep everybody happy instead of just being the king, you know? Do you um, get the feeling that Damon <clears throat> was looking for a reason? I mean, like, do you really think that him naming her that really affected him that bad, naming her the heir? Yeah, yes. You do? Because Damon, as much as he loves him, and he is loyal to him in the end, period, but... It absolutely did because that's just kind of the way it is. Because he just, I don't know, he always had a, like he wanted to one up him or, you know. Yeah, he does. Prove something and he's just looking for a reason. Now, I'm not, I don't know that he's joining Corliss because I didn't read the books or anything. Yeah. So, yeah. But it, it looks like that's about to happen. Um, they're about to do something here. Well, I mean, it's more of a, again, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's more of just like Corla said, he's been petitioning for what, six months now for the show for two episodes to do something, and he's just not doing anything. Yeah. And he knows that's directly affecting his house. He's actually lost ships now himself, his own ships, and he's supposed to just sit there and do nothing. And, and honestly, Damon don't give a shit about orders. So he's like, okay, well, I'll go talk to your brother. Those, those guys out there that are staked, and getting eaten by crabs. Yeah. I mean, they're somebody's kids, you know, mm -hmm. husbands and stuff. I mean, you expect your crown to have your back. That's right. That's what he's saying. That's what you he need... told him. Like, Westerosi people are out here dying. These yeah. are Westerosi sailors, some of those people. And that's terrible. 
and you know making their livings and supplying the realm and all this kind of stuff. You can't just sit there. So he, but he don't want to be. It's more of like legacy thing. That's the problem with you know monarchies, right? Is it they worry about is. legacy. It really it's a big is, theme man. through all this stuff. Is like you got to in history. What am I going to look like in history? Type of shit, you know, and that um, makes uh, makes you make the wrong decision in a lot of cases. I mean, he already knew the answer. For example, when he went to to see um, Harlan Strong, he he knew he already knew what he wanted to do. Yeah, he did. But he wanted like to get it, to get confirmation or something. I, I agree. Uh, and so that just shows you his character. But at the same time, he you know he, he's it's because he does care about the realm and optics and all that stuff. Otto has a face that like, yeah, he's annoying he's, me, man. He's a punchable face. It is. It's <laughs> like, not. you, he doesn't have a poker face. No, like he, I'm up to no good yeah, all the time. All the time. I, I'm I thinking know. horrible shit about all of y'all at this I table agree. right now. And he don't give a shit. Cause he's the hand. He's the second most man. powerful dude in the realm right now. And that's why he wanted to go confront Damon. Cause he hates him. They hate each other. He don't want Damon nowhere, but he wanted to make a power move and whatever. Like I'll go take care of this, you know. Yeah. I'm going to show this motherfucker. It gives me a chance to kill him, maybe. You know, maybe if somebody gets lucky and kills him, right? Um, but then Renera just stole the thunder there, and that, and he's Absolutely. the one. Remember, remember all this throughout this season. He's the one that suggested Renera. When shit goes down, just remember who suggested. Make your eldest daughter the heir. Hmm. And, yeah, that's a big change, too, that I think is a good change is, you know, again, the big thing that makes all this work underneath it is Renera and, and Allison being so close. That's everything. Yeah. If that's not there, there's no tension there. It's no big deal. None of this matters. Really. True. You know, it's just like a bunch of side stories put together. Yeah. So... I'm you can start. It. You can kind of start to see already. You know the splintering, but you know, there's no really teams yet. But it'll start to happen. Yeah, that, that's was... one thing. Real quick, will be confusing to and was for a lot of people. There are some not like when you get to the second half of the season. There's not many time jumps, but there's going to be like some jumps until they change actresses in the second half, and then from that point on, it's all. Uh, and like for there no, no more time jumps and actress changes, actor changes, anything like that. How is your week looking? I'm, I don't. It'd be hard to get one next weekend for sure. Yeah, so, that's right. With Christmas, yeah, I'm, I maybe mean, during the week. Um, yeah, I mean tomorrow Thursday, I'm off. Um, any, I mean whatever we gotta do. If we need to do I might. One. Um, I know I have a little more shopping to do. Yeah, and some things, but I uh, while I'm out. You know, if you got time to maybe, yeah, do episode three or whatever, that would be cool. Yeah, we could do that. We wear our Christmas hats. We didn't wear our Christmas hats. I no, was thinking that's true. You know, we usually have our uh, decorate. Yes, <laughs> decorate our little table. That's right. So we, yes, we'll try to do that. Yeah, and then uh, maybe get something good to eat or something. Yeah, hang out. We can do it. We can do it. Do something. Put out our our Christmas <laughs> Christmas special for. The I weekend. love it. Yeah, we'll have it. Uh, well, well, early next week, right after Christmas. But yeah, people are liking these, man. Um, we're seeing, you know, some. I don't know if you've been great comments, comments, that, great I've saw, comments that I've seen. Yeah. It's been a few days since I've looked. Yeah, but, man. Yeah, and some old school faces showing up, and and again, this time the the audio and video will be better with the you know recording it separately and doing it this way versus having it all intertwined. Because I, I know that gets on people's nerves, but you you, you can't. You can't do anything anymore with copyright, even if it's clearly fair use. And it is so wild. You're you're, you're trying to hide some audio and uh, with with other music or whatever, and that just kind of makes it low. So I know oh, it's, what you could do, uh, I mean, at, at, is add exposure to their brand. So why that's are right. they so easy, well? Hey, you know, pissed about it. All my old stuff from all the way back in the day, they're all like going through. I got a one day I woke up and there was fifteen or twenty emails from videos demonetized, old ones, claim old ones. And it's it's not HBO like the company. It's some dude, probably some intern, just sitting there going, "Oh, oh, they're using our." And it's literally just com You know, they're all just you know what the old videos were. They just had. Screenshots and little clips or whatever while I'm talking or while me and you are live streaming. Wow! But it was all the videos, so anything they, they it's like and HBO has never had a, I've never had a problem with that till 
And no, it was recently. AMC that you really had issues. Yeah, with. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was the the, the audio. Some uh, what was it? DMC music group. It was some weird. I don't know. Whatever it was. Um. But yeah. So. Anyway, we'll we'll I'll fix it up this time and do it like the uh, you know, at least where when it, when it's on you can hear the audio for five seconds at a time or whatever. But that's cool. It's a good one, man. It's a good one. And and you know, this is watching this the second time for me. It's 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 better than I remembered. I'll, I'm you know, there's more little stuff I'm seeing and all that stuff as well. Um, but yeah, and you you said that back in the day when you were rewatching a lot of those with me too. Yeah. You're like, it, you know, I catch things too. Yeah, yeah, still. This and is this is really cool. That's the thing about this, man. It's got it's uh whereas Game of Thrones, it's so in depth, but at the same time it's so spread out. You know, you get all the these locations and families mm-hmm. and houses coming together. This is more concentrated on one area, but it's so in depth with all the the characters. It's very character driven. And these little things, even though it's just a small region of the of Westeros, you're not seeing what's going on yet in the north or any of that kind of stuff. But um, a little more concentrated version of of, uh, of Game of Thrones. I in hope the history HBO anyway. does, um, you know, release other shows. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we got uh, Duncan Egg has been greenlit, so full series, and those are going to be outstanding. Um, that's the three novellas that he's written. And he's supposed to do more, but he never will probably. And then, I, as like I said before, nothing has been greenlit other than that, and obviously the rest of this. But um, I don't see how they don't do the Jon Snow thing as a as a sequel. Now, there's no book stuff, um, but Kit Harrington brought his own writers and own everybody to the table, and it's sitting there, and they, it gets a chance to to fix some things, at least yeah, cool. at least retcon some stuff. And give you some answers, but because I mean that's the thing, like right, this show will tie into the White Walkers, as you will see and you saw already. I mean, not the White Walkers directly, but like this threat from the north. Yeah, you know that mm-hmm. they've already told you that. Yeah, we know that Game of Thrones, the prequel. I mean, the the I'm sorry, the prologue, episode one, and the book prologue opens up about what the fuck was that? This scary stuff, monsters in the north, and then. As good as some of the scenes were, it's all over in the night, and it's like, you know I what I mean? Agree. Like yeah, we, we <laughs> yeah. And those are the reasons people say, "Well, what does it matter? We know how it ends, and blah blah blah." But at the same time, if you can kind of let go of that, this is a great fucking story, and it's a tragedy because it's it's family drama, you know. Yeah. Whereas Game of Thrones is more kind of uh, you know, basically Starks versus Lannisters. At the end, yeah. I, I I do miss Winterfell. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you'll definitely see that season two for sure. Um, you'll see Winterfell, uh, and we'll spend some time there. It won't have a major, major. Now at the very end of this thing, the Starks are very important, but uh, not. We won't. I don't think we'll be in Winterfell that long, but you will see it for sure. Can in a I couple be, episodes at least? I I'll be totally honest. This has made me want to go watch Game of Thrones I know, again. I know it does. Do you really? Man, I, I do. And you know, we talked about it before. We never, I never reviewed or talked about what, season? The early ones? Yeah. That's one, right. One, seasons uh, four, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm freaking down. Up to five and a half. Man, those are all excellent. Yeah, they're outstanding. That was at its peak. It was the best show on TV in history, in my opinion. Um, it, I mean, even... Even Dan and Dave, man, you got to give them credit for to. they. It was the best adaptation I think ever happened. Yeah, it was, but of course they had material, you know, to work with. So somebody they're, they're so work, good, man. Somebody at work asked me. They were like, "Be honest." When uh, I, I'd mentioned the podcast and everything, yeah. And, uh, so many people have told me to watch the show, but I hear that it ends terrible. Is it is it even yeah. worth watching if you know it's gonna, you're gonna be pissed at the end? I said a hundred percent. It is. Yeah, we I don't care how we, disappointed we, anybody is. I remember is, our last couple of live streams. It. Yeah, we talked about that. Like, wait a minute, would you recommend this now? We were kind of in. We shock. did talk. I forgot about that. We were kind of in shock. Like, like what would you do if somebody said, "Hey, I'm gonna check out Game of Thrones." Should I? I know you mm-hmm. love Game of Thrones. Should I watch it? We asked that question to chat. Would you recommend it? 
Yeah. And it's like, you got to. Yeah. Because, I mean, some people, first of all, might like it. It might be fine That's for right. And but, I'm I'm like, I've made peace with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I can watch it again. Um, the, I'm talking about season eight. Um, yeah, yeah. But it's like, you know, a relationship. You know, if you if if you knew how it ends, yeah, would right. you still go through? Hell yes, you'd yeah, still you still go through to. it every time. You got to. And I, it's like I just made a, a video for uh, channel members, just a, a like a little mini podcast about will Danny go mad? I'm using air mm-hmm. quotes here in the books. And when you go back through and you think about it after reading the books a million times, because you know when you watch the show, you kind of got took, taken over by the show, right? As yeah. can, as canon almost. Yep. And you thought there was always that hint, but there was it was they almost made it feel like okay, this is definitely going to be a red herring. You know, there's she's going to ride the edge of madness. I'm just using that. It's not really madness. Uh-huh. I think it's just ruthlessness. But, uh, right. Um, she's going to ride the edge, but she'll always come back and do the right thing. Blah blah. blah and it's a red herring. But no. She does lose it um, to some degree, at least in that moment, mm-hmm. and and dies for it. Um, so anyway, it's just one of those things where now that you r- really think about it, they didn't do it right as far as the way they led up to it and the foreshadowing and the, how rushed it was. But it was always there, in the books especially. Really? So, yes, yeah, she will absolutely lose it in the books. Now, again... Maybe it's slightly different, whatever. She'll still try to save the world, obviously, and have to, uh, like she did in the show, but we'll never get the books anyway. And is there, uh, that's what I was going to say, is there any update or anybody Mm -hmm. saying, looks like he's writing again? He is, um, but uh, he's he's still saying he's only, uh, the last OA date was just a few, actually a few, a couple weeks ago. Um, he had come out a few months ago. It's been a while now. And said he's written like over a thousand something pages, but nothing Damn. since then. So it's going to be another. It still won't be. We may get Winds of Winter in three or four years, maybe, but we'll never get the last book. It just won't Damn happen. It, man. Just not going to happen. But well, I enjoyed it. Sweet man. Well, yeah, we'll try to get another one then, and we'll cool. have that ready for. So this will come out Tuesday as usual, and then yeah. we'll have one ready for next Tuesday. And yeah, I know you're going to be itching to watch it. That's what's that's what sucks about doing it for the reaction uh, videos. But yeah, man, it's cool. It's cool to get back to Westeros, and and it does make you miss God bad, don't it? There's it something that's so weird, ain't it? It's so weird that a show. But it brought so many of us together and so many people. And, I know. Uh, and then, I don't know. Remember when we started uh, doing the podcast again and I said we got the band back together? Yeah, yeah. When I saw those comments yes. on this and first episode, I was like, I the two, band really is back together yeah, I now. I only saw like two or three of those. Yeah. Said exactly that. But, yeah, it's cool, man. And uh, I don't know, there's something about reaction videos people love. I don't know what it is. I, I, there was one I, comment It was like, uh, you have bad uh, luck with reactors. Your daughter looked bored the whole time, and then and, your, your yeah, buddy and I'm don't not react. animated or I'm anything. Like, yeah, it's like this is not fake. I am trying so hard to just take in what's going on. Right, and I'm but so intrigued. But that's completely fine. The point being is, I told, and you saw. I don't know if you saw my response. No, I didn't even see that because Camden saw those too. Right, she was doing Game of Thrones. She said, "I'm." She said on camera, "I'm sorry. I just have RBF. I just look like that all the time. I'm not mad." And that's what Camden said. And then I told, I replied to that comment. And I'm like, "There's nothing fake here. We yeah. don't fake get hyped up and get faked, and you know have yeah, all these that, fake reactions." Oh Lord, I, yeah. I, I don't. We do don't that. bullshit people here. It is what it is. And then we talk about it afterwards. That's what we do. If you don't want to watch it, that's cool. But I mean, that was just one, like one of those, you know. Yeah. So fuck. and and uh, you know, yeah, I, I know. I when I watched it, I was like, hmm. Yeah, I'm an, I'm like a knot on a log, but, no, but I can't help it. Like, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, like jump up and you know, we, we can't. You're not talking the whole time. It's it's also the facial expressions and the nods and the. It's not just like holy shit. We're not you know all yeah. this fake bullshit that some people do. I'm not saying those people. In particular, really. The people who uh, film themselves watching sports and jump up and they're this far from the TV screaming at yeah. it and stuff. Come it's on, like, come man. on, dude. Like, I mean, I remember um, in season seven, I think it was, right? Uh, 
I did no, I'm sorry, six, because we did this live stream in seven. But in six, I would record myself watching it and I'd put a I'd put a few little reactions in the review video. Mm -hmm. And a few times I got pretty hype, but very rarely do I get all crazy about something. Yeah. But it, it's gotta be a big fucking moment. Yeah. A big old shit moment or something. But yeah, I mean, we're not we're not faking this stuff for for views or whatever. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that. But hey, they're they're at least they're genuine reactions. Yes, and, absolutely. And then if you got a guy who's like me, who's not that animated, if you get a reaction out of me, yeah, it's a really that's uh, right, it's a hell of a scene, that's, and that's me. It's the same way, and I feel or like I'm almost reacting too, because I'm more reacting to you. I reacting, know you are, yep, I'm, and I like that. I, I'm seeing new things. I mean, it's, and I'm like genuinely into it as we watch these again, because there's more. It seems better the second time, is what I guess what I'm saying. And it um. And it does help when you do a little like, oh, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'll go, oh, okay. So that was what that was. Right, you know what right. I mean? Um, but super cool. I, I love the show so far. And uh, I'm excited for episode three, man. Sweet, man. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll try to get another and then one. Who then. knows how we work in the, uh, if we get, if we do ever do anything with Game of Thrones, those early seasons, I I, I would be down to watch yeah, those again. That'd be cool, man. Uh, just go back to old to school. Absolutely, have an excuse to sit down and watch oh, them yeah. again, and you know, come over here and absolutely eat good food like we always do. And, That's uh, cool. Watch um, good TV. So yeah, episode one airs the dragon. Episode two, the rogue prince, and then episode three, second of his name, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that refers to. Aegon. I saw that. I heard that when they, they said it at the beginning of that teaser, and right. I was like, oh, hell. Yeah, so another big time jump here, looks like. I can't remember exactly the time. It's probably what? I don't know. Six months again, probably. Something like that. But All right. We good? Yes, sir. All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see what we uh, come up with for next week, and then we'll maybe we'll decorate our little table and put on our Santa hats if they even fit. Yeah. <laughs> they might have strong. Or it's got big. I'll bring my big one. There I you got go. Home. I got one downstairs that does fit. But all right. Well, we'll wrap it up and let it fade to black.